You got me. I feel safe with you. You are, then. I won't let anyone or anything hurt you. and a gale force wind, and I blow it back here. I mean, I made a mess of everything. I, I'm not sure that's possible. No, as if you didn't have enough to worry about. I spout off at Alan in front of everybody. I humiliated him. You nailed him pretty good. And, and now he's sure to come after you. And I did it all by myself. You sure did. I want to speak to my Very mom. good, darling. Right. Well, you let me know the minute you hear any word. Fine. What is the matter with you? Why wouldn't you let me talk to him? He didn't want to talk to you. Oh, I don't think so. My dear, spoiled, self-centered niece, your father's only concern are on your brother right now. If he had an ounce of decency about you, yours would be too. You just love this, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Sitting around on pins and needles waiting to find out if Alan, Michael, and Lucy are dead or alive. Sure, it's a picnic. You just love to make me out to be the rotten, self-serving, insensitive person that you think I am. I know what you are, dear. We all do. I care just as much about Alan Michael as you do. Amanda, take some advice, please. When your father gets back, don't be here. I want a helicopter waiting for me as soon as I land, and I want to be taken to the Coast Guard cutter that's searching for my son and his wife. Listen, I don't care how bad the weather is. Just get me there. Oh, Michael, please, keep your head up. Keep your head up above the water, right? I'm gonna try one more time to grab you. Here we go. Please, God, please, somebody help us. Somebody, God, please help us. Please. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Pepto-Bismol. The one that coats is the only one you need. Feel terrible, Buzz. You're upset about Lucy and Alan, Michael. We're all upset. You should be worried sick about them. I know you are. We'll get through this together. They're both strong, you know. That's the way you should think. Well, I, that's the way I do think. And, I mean, and I was I only <laughs> trying to help. I was, but instead I send Alan off on a tear, and now I know he's going to come straight back at you, and you should, you really should just hate me for Don't this. tell me what to do. You should be furious with me. In fact, you should be wondering how I got this far through life acting this way. What way? This way, the way I spout off at the mouth without even thinking. It, it doesn't make sense to me, much less to anybody else. 
I mean, it, it's just like I get something in my head and I, and I can't stop myself. I say something and it, and it, it ticks somebody off and, and I have spent a lifetime ticking people off. I ticked off HB and Josh and Billy and Alan and now you. I, just, I don't know what possesses me. I mean, something comes over me. It's like it's a, a character flaw or some kind of genetic defect or I, something. I, I liked those pillows. Oh, then do me a favor. Take one of them, shove it down my throat, shut me up, put me out of my misery. I mean, I've made a mess of things before, but it's never been this bad. You didn't mess up. You were magnificent. Are you sure you don't want to go to sleep? I'm sure. I want you to hold me. Can you just stay like this all night? As long as you want. That's what I want. This is all coming from you, Alex. My father never said he didn't want to speak to me. He just, he just have to grab every chance you have to pull us further apart. Well, you did a fine job of you. No. Yourself did. You're the one who told him what I did in California. And I will never forget the look of hurt and disappointment in his eyes. Will you? I'll get over it. Willie. Willie Philip. You and I have seen your father pull back into himself, haven't we? We've seen him distance himself from one of his children. You understand what I'm talking Look, about? He will come around eventually. <laughs> Just tell her, Philip. Will you tell her the best thing she can possibly do for this entire family is to pack her bags and leave? Uh, Alex, this is serving no purpose at all. Really? On the contrary, I think it'll save your sister some heartbreak when she tries to get back in her father's good graces, because that is never going to happen. Look, it, it's going to take some time, but he will forgive me. That's just wishful thinking, Amanda, because he's never going to look at you the same way again. And he will never trust you again. I will make him trust me. You keep pushing, he's going to become more remote all the time. We've seen it happen, haven't we, Philip? I'm his daughter. It's different. Your father can't stand to be humiliated by anyone, my dear. And you have humiliated him and disgraced the Spalding name. Oh, nobody knew who I was then. Well, your father knows exactly who you are now, dear. You know, please, I've tried to tell you that if you keep pushing him, all of this hurt and this anger is going to pile up so high he's not going to be able to control himself. And he's going to sit you down and tell you exactly what he thinks of you. And that is a day I don't want to be around for. You don't frighten me, Alex. <laughs> you know I'm actually trying to help you, Amanda. You have some stock now. You have some money now. Take it and just leave. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, this is the kindest advice I could ever offer you. You think that I'm a hateful person who wants to do in the family, don't you? Aren't you? I'm looking for my wife. That's Roger. He's out there. Man, never quit. He cannot find you here. No, let him. No. Let him. I meant what I said. I won't let him hurt you. Listen to me, please. 
I can handle this, okay? Please, just, I I'll call for you if I need help, but just shh, be quiet. Did Dinah call you? Did she ask you to come over? No. Well, well, then I think that's breaking and entering. Vanessa, call the I'm cops. I'm not breaking and entering. I'm just worried about well, it. Well, you that's have a funny way of showing You it. don't know what's going on. Well, if it has something to do with you, it can't be good. Now, get out. How come you're so worried about her? You walk into somebody's house and stalk her. I'm not stalking her. I'm just worried about her. That's all. I didn't want to wake anybody. What's going on out here? Roger, I thought I heard your voice. What are you doing here, honey? Mom, Matt, what's going on? He said he needs to talk to you. <clears throat> well, what time is it? It's the middle of the night, Dinah. Okay, well then, it's just, it must be important. Dinah, you don't have to do this. No, it's okay. Just, I'm uh, sorry to bother you two. Listen, are you sure? I can stay with you. I mean, you don't have to go. <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It's okay. Come on, let's go downstairs where we can talk, honey. couldn't sleep. Really? Well, are you having nightmares again? I don't have nightmares. Shh. No, don't yell, because Matt and, and Mother will be downstairs in two seconds. Maybe I have something to yell about. Okay, obviously, you're not yourself. Come, sit down, tell me what's going on. I ran into someone tonight. And the someone put you in this state? I'm not in a state. Okay, if you say so. This someone knows you and me and Hart. Well, that lets in about half the town. This person said how nice it was to see my wife and my son getting along so well. So, well, th that must have been months ago. No, no. I got the impression that we were talking recent. Well, whoever it is needs to have their eyes examined. Who is this person? Doesn't matter. It certainly does, because I don't want people upsetting you, especially with lies. <laughs> so you and Hart haven't been friendly? No. Roger, you told me to stay away from him, and I have. Because you were right. I am not going to put myself in a situation where he can just manipulate me again. I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm done with that. Mm-hmm. You sure there's nothing you want to tell me? What is that supposed to mean? Well, what it means is if there's something going on between you and Hart, I'd rather you tell me. Oh, honey, I can't believe you woke me up for this. Last chance. What is up with you and Hart? I don't know what you're talking about. I know. I know what you and Hart are trying to do to me. What a disturbing survey reveals at five. Over. Bridget came clean. Bridget. Bridget is the person that you talked to tonight. She knows what's going on between you and Hart. She finally told me. Well, this is this is about that day in the park that you found us together, isn't it? She told you then, Roger, that nothing was going on. She changed her story tonight. Yeah. Why she would do this? Tell me. Well, it's the oldest story in the book. Bridget wants to cause trouble for me. She can't get to heart, and her tiny little mind still thinks that I'm the reason why. Uh -huh. That's not what she says. Well, of course not. She's not going to admit that, but it's the truth. She can't get anywhere with heart, and she's blaming me. She, like I'm some kind of a threat or something. Are you? No. That's ridiculous. But, you know, I, I've been there. I can see where she's coming from. I actually feel sorry for her. I just... I just can't believe that you didn't see through her. I saw you and Hart in the park that day, too. I know you did. I told you that I stopped to say hello to Peter. Remember? I've been so forgetful lately, honey. Maybe Peter was an excuse. Kids. <laughs> kids. Kids like me. They like to watch me ride on horses. Dinah? 
and I, I never fall. I can stand up straight and tall on their backs, and I, I ride around, I gallop around, and I have big purple feathers that are floating, and, and, and the kids watch, and they wonder, and they ask their mummies and daddies, how does she do that? And I never fall. Dinah? Do you like the circus? I love the circus. Everybody does. I never fall, you know. I never, ever, this ever fall. This is what I was trying to tell you. Sweetheart? Sweetheart, are you all right? What is she doing? I don't think Mommy, she does. Mommy, is that you? Oh, of course it's me. Mommy, can I stay with my mommy? Of course you can, honey, if it's all right with Vanessa. But don't ask me a stupid question like that. Of oh, course it's fine. fine. I'll check on you in the morning. Okay. You sleep tight. Okay. God, he left. I thought he'd never leave. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. <laughs> well, I'm not. I need some reassurance. That was a performance? Mm -hmm. Just a performance? If, something that you and Hart cooked up? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. And thanks for going along with it. You really helped me more than you know. Well, I don't think I helped at all. <sighs> Donna, I, I, I really wish that you would just tell me what is going on. It doesn't work, Vanessa. I already tried that. Sorry. Sorry, I, I'm not going to interfere. I'm, I'm not going to ask any questions. Listen, Mother, really, don't worry. Hart and I have everything under control, okay? Okay, so let's all just get a good night's sleep. Good idea. Thanks for everything. Good night. <clears throat> she's, a, she's a better actress than I know. Uh, what do you think is going on? I think Dinah will tell us when she's ready. I think we ought to take her advice and get some sleep. Hmm? Come on. Take me off? Mm -hmm. What? Well, that's your thing. You take people off. It wouldn't be you if you didn't take people off, and I wouldn't be with them. You really aren't mad at me. Even if Alan puts more pressure on you? Alan's gonna be Alan. Forget about him. You were wonderful. No, Miss Cooper. You're wonderful. You have no right to judge me, Philip. You don't know me. I don't know anybody in this family. See, you, you all wrote me off five years ago, and you know what? Now that I'm back, nobody really seems to care all that much. Oh, that's not true. The only thing that anybody wants from me in this family is to take sides in this Spalding version of Hatfield and McCoy's. Well, don't make light of it. Amanda, my little brother is out on a boat somewhere fighting for his life. Would you really like me to get all worked up about your spat with Alex about Dad and the Coopers? Well, you think I don't care about what happens to Alan Michael? No! You know, I really don't. I don't think you give a damn. But he's the one who welcomed me back here. So what? So, you, you owe him? Is that what you're saying? No, it means I love him. Well, that's funny. That's really funny. That's the first time I've heard anybody in this house use that word. Philip, Alan Michael defended me to Alex. He's the only one who saw my ability. He offered me a high position at Spalding. Yes, I do owe him. I owe him okay, a lot. Okay, why are you pushing this Fifth Street development thing? Because you know damn well it's going to destroy his new father-in-law and probably his relationship with Dad along with it. Because I owe Father, too. I owe him. Right. He... I know, he gave you his stock and changed your entire world. Yeah, well, I, just, I saw this as a, an opportunity to do something for, for him. When, when Reba left him, he was at such a low point. Yeah, and in you came to the rescue, right? I did. I jumped at the opportunity. I wanted to prove myself. By destroying the people on Fifth Street? All right, all right. So the plan has... It, it's got a few flaws, I'll grant you that. And yes, Father was reacting out of hurt over Reva. She was right about that tonight. Well... Glad to see you give her credit for something. But I won't sit in judgment over anyone, Philip. Least of all, Father. I may not agree entirely with what he's been doing, but I'm sure that you understand. I told you, don't get me into this mix. I just got back to town, remember? Philip, haven't you ever wanted Father's approval? His respect? <sighs> haven't you wanted to look into his eyes and see pride and love? Yes. Well, that... that's all I wanted. I wanted... 
to look into his face and see those things. I wanted it so badly, and I wanted to be a part of this family so much that I was willing to do anything. And I'm, af and I'm, I'm afraid that Alex might be right, that, that I, I, I may have lost my chance. Amanda don't need anything that much from Dad. The price is too high. Sure. It was amazing. What? The moment that your SOS came in, the storm broke and the skies cleared. It was an incredible piece of luck. Did you hear any of that? I heard all of that. And I started getting worried when you were zoning out. Well, you've seen me pull that stunt before. Yeah, but I didn't know if you were faking it or it was some of Roger's drug left over. No, I was just acting. You must be getting pretty good at it if you fell for it. It was a brilliant performance. Thank you. You think he's onto us? No, he was just fishing. I hope. Well, this is where it starts. You think he's onto us? No, he was just fishing. I hope. This is where it starts to get real risky. We were so close. No, very close. Uh, well, my mother and Matt are home now, so you better go. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I think you have to. No, I'm going to stay here until you fall asleep. Okay. We got one more thing to do tonight. Right, right, according to plan. Now's the time. Make the call. He should warm you up, Ella Michael. Now, look, there's a, there's a hospital in Myrtle Beach, and I want a doctor to check you out there. He's I don't need a hospital. Soon. I just need to warm well, According to Lucy, you were down below trap for quite a while. Yeah, well, time flies when you're having fun. Ella yeah. Michael, please, for once in your life, would you listen to your father? Look, this is no laughing matter, Ella Michael. You could be suffering from exhaustion or hypothermia I or something. I can move. Look, I can move all of my fingers. Fine, well, we're just hoping, son, we're going to have you and Lucy checked out. So just come on down. Whole life in place, sir. Oh, well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for all of your help. Yeah. Thank your dad. He wouldn't let up on us. His chopper made three attempts to land on our deck. The pilot wanted to quit, but your dad didn't. Dad to the rescue again. Well, look, son, I think I'm going to call home. There's a lot of people around there that want to know that you're safe. Dad, thank you. Anytime, son. Anytime. You are the first person who hasn't yelled at me and called me a worthless piece of trailer trash when I told him the truth and hit him right where it hurt. Well, what do they know? They thought they knew me. Anyone that calls you a name is a jerk. <laughs> I'm amazed. Hmm. No, you. I mean you. You know, you talk the talk, but you walk the walk, too. I mean, oh, do you know how many people talk about the way they want to live their lives, and then it's another thing to actually do it? Well, I try. Do you know how few men do that? 
I hit Josh with the truth one time, and he was mad at me for 12 years. You're something else, lady. Mm -hmm. I'm no lady. You're mm -hmm. my lady. You're something else, but... It takes one to know one. No, I mean it. You're really very special guy. You're just figuring that out? Well, the really important stuff, I'm kind of a s slow learner. I get there eventually. I got you. Oh, this better be good. <laughs> this better be good news. The best. Lucy? It's me, Lucy. Yeah, well, a little wind blowing and soggy, but we're okay. Thank you. What? Thank what? you. It's what Lucy. It? It's I. Uh, well, Lucy, how, 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 how's Alan Michaels? He okay? Oh, uh, he's drying up too. We both are. Oh, baby, we were so worried about you. Well, don't worry now. You can stop. I mean, the storm was supposed to be a record breaker. How, how did you get out of there? You're never gonna believe this, but I'll, I'll tell you all about it when we get home, okay? Well how, how, well, how long is it gonna take you to get here? Well, I, I'm not sure. Alan wants us to stop at the Myrtle Beach Hospital first. Alan's there? Yeah, he came with the Coast Guard. He's been great. You know him, taking charge as usual. Dad? Dad? Dad, are you still there? Uh, I, oh yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm happy, and I'm here, and I'm happy, very happy. Tell her for me, too. Uh, yeah, and Reva's happy, and Frank's gonna be happy, and Elaney's happy. She's been storming the heavens on your behalf. Well, I think everybody has been. Well, give him a hug for me, please. And, and I'll call you in the morning when I know when we'll be home, okay? Do you have any idea how good it is to hear your voice? Do you have any idea how much I love you? Well, I hope as much as I love you. Well, give my love to Alan Michael. And from Reva, too. I will. And you give her mine. Hey, Dad, I'm glad she's with you. But listen, I better go, okay? Um, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Goodbye. Good night. You know, you must be dizzy. No, no, I feel You great. must. Well, I, my head is spinning a little bit. You know, my good, it must be late. It's not that late. I, it's, look how late it is. I did, I must have, I've lost track of time altogether. Well, who cares about time? Everybody does. Well, I don't. It's, you are emotional. I'm emotional. We're emotional. I'm not. And we're exhausted. Is that bad? And I need my sleep. I really got to get some sleep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any sleep, but I need some sleep here. So I'm going to go get some sleep, and I'm going to go downstairs. So see you in the morning. Wait. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I want to play cards because I don't want to play cards. I hate Pinochle. I really do. Why don't you play solitaire? Something you can play without me. Good night. Buzz, stop. Oh. I don't want to play cards. What, then? You want to talk? I'm talked out. How about good night, sleep tight? Stop. Please. Just look at me. Would you please just look at me, Buzz? Okay. You look great. I feel great. If you want to talk, talk fast, because I'm going to fall asleep right here on, uh, on my feet. You're wide awake. You talk! You know Just don't talk! Don't be dense. I don't want to talk. Well, good. Maybe I'll stand a chance of getting out the door. Are you really that anxious to leave? 
I, it's, we're, it's emotional. We're exhausted. Emotional. We're, exhausted. Yeah. You already said that. Is it, huh? is it all because of the deal we made when we got married, or are you really that anxious to leave? Do you want to leave? No, of course I don't want to leave. Okay. The last thing I want to okay. do is want to leave. Then what do you want to do? Oh, well, gosh. I don't know. I forgot. What do I want to do? I don't know. It was coming. It was right in my head, and I don't... Oh, yeah. I want to stay with you. What's wrong with that? Well, because... I tell myself that I keep my hands off you, and I wouldn't keep my hands off you. I'd just, I'd be a liar. You want the truth? Yes. Ruth, do I you want, the truth. want it? I do. Here it is, from the Bible. My spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Good night. No, wait, wait. Uh -huh. No, now wait. If I understand this correctly, our deal was that you wouldn't have me until I wanted you for you. Is that right? Yeah. Right. Right. Have you? What did he yeah, say? Sleep you with think? me. Sleep with oh. me. Make love to me. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't unless you wanted me for me. Right. That was the quote. Right. Okay. okay. Right. Yo. So, Good night. No, no, no. But you want me for me. You proved that tonight. Oh. Sleep. <laughs> No, it's really not that late. Okay. You want the bottom line. You I want, want my bottom, bottom line. Darn right. All right. Here it is. I don't want to be appreciated. I don't want goodwill. I don't want gratitude. Oh, gratitude. Would you listen to me? Okay, shoot. I'm listening. <laughs> gratitude. This is not gratitude. Buzz. I want you. I want you for you. And... You do. If you walk out that door, then I'm going to be the one playing solitaire all night, pacing the floors all night long, and I'm not going to like that. I'm not going to like that one little bit. Do you want to see me beg? You wouldn't. For you, I would. You would? For you. Where's your pride? Pride is for other people. We only speak truths, remember? <sighs> well, I, you know... The interesting thing, you begging, um... Really? Hands and knees, the whole bit? You know, however you beg. I beg my way, you beg your way. Okay. You know. Here goes. Buzz. Please. Pretty please. Make love to me. I don't believe this is happening. Pretty please. Make love to me. Let me make love to you. You like me. <laughs> you really like me. You do make me laugh, and I you try. make me want to. What? What do you do want to do? What, what do you lots want to do? of things. What things. Lots of things. What? Lots How, of name things. five of them. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, let me kiss you. <sighs> Again. Shut up, and let me kiss you. <sighs> Okay, it works. Just again.
deeper. You, it like you know, the northern lights, like finger painting across the sky. I see it. You want to feel it? Soon? Sporting resins. Philip, it's your father. They're safe. Oh, God. Dad, that is great news. He got to him in time. <sighs> well, just in time, thanks to the Coast Guard, but uh, the situation was very serious. I, I heard the phone. Uh, father what happened? Found you are still here. Did you hear what I said? And father and found and Lucy and Alan Michael. Beacon. Let me talk to you. Oh, hang on a second. I am not Are... leaving, Alex. I'm here to stay. Let me talk to Alan. Uh, hang on, Dad. Don Alex wants to talk to you. Alan, what happened? Just calm down, Alex. Everything is just fine. Oh, thank God. And they're going to be all right. They're doing as well as can be expected. Yes, it was uh, quite an ordeal, though. All right. Wonderful. Let me talk to Alan Michael, please. Alan Michael, you have no idea how happy I am to hear your voice. To tell, Amanda, me, tell me about Lucy. I, I don't want you to misunderstand me. Really? Okay. I know how much oh, it can hurt so to be Alan Spaulding's kid. In that, I am right there with you. But in everything else, I'm not on anybody's side but my own. Oh, yes. Okay? Just, they did their job, right? Listen, we can't thank you enough for everything that you've done for us. Yes, ma'am. Now, nobody else was on board except the two of you. Well, and your other guy. I didn't even want to think about what would have happened if he didn't show up when he did. What other guy? The one who saved our lives. Oh, God, Alex saves her love. Oh, thanks. I was just telling him about the guy who saved our lives and came in and helped us. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he got that radio going again, I don't know how, and, and he called you. Well, we didn't send anybody. We were the only Coast Guard unit in the area, and, uh... That radio, that's out of commission. Wait a minute, that can't be. That's, that's how he called you. Oh, that's, that's impossible. That radio's dead. Hi, Dad. Did I wake you? What do you want? Well, I thought maybe you'd have a few questions for me, because I have a few for you. You listen to me. No, you listen to me. You be at my motel room at 7 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning. You got that?